Hi guys, I hope you are doing great. In this video, I wanted to talk of ACD ladder. It's a part of a very ambitious project that we have, but that's going to take a few more months for completion. So let's just stick to ACD ladders for now or a code daily ladders for now. So if you're into competitive programming, it's highly likely that you have already seen or visited platforms or ladders like A to J ladders or C to ladders. If you haven't, then ladders basically is a collection of problems that are more likely to help you in growth rather than selecting random problems for that matter, because there are tons and tons of problems out there on different platforms. It's just not feasible for anyone to solve all the problems. It's a very good idea to solve those problems that have actually helped people as well to grow. For coming up with this ladder, we actually processed the data of more than 45,000 users from Code Forces. We processed the past 16 month data of all of the users, then pocketized them into quarters. So we had four quarters each. Quarter basically is four months, right? So we have a four into four months data. Then we checked the correlation between their growth and the problems they had practiced. Only if they saw, saw good growth, then we took the practice problems into consideration. And based on the data of all these 45,000 plus users, we came up with this ladder. So let's just jump into the website itself. So this is the website. At the very top, you see the toughness level. So this is 800, 900, all the way to 1700. Then on the next page, we have from 1800 to 2700. Then from 2600 to 3500, right? Uh, now, these are the uh, toughness of the problem. If you click on any ladders, you'll be able to see the problems from that ladders along with the frequency. So it just tells that 526 people benefited or saw growth when they solved this particular problem that is bracket walk, right? So yeah, that's what it tells you. So I can go back now. Yeah. So now the point is which ladder you should select for your own growth. I can give you some formula like just add 20, uh, 200 to your rating or something of that sorts. But the best thing is you just need to enter your code forces handle over here. Click enter. As soon as you do it, it auto selects the ladders, a ladder that is good for your growth. For example, in my case, I'm at 1871 right now. So this 2000 ladder is the best ladder for me as per the website, right? or the uh, ladder with 2000 rating is the best for me. So I can go over here. I can check what all problems I've already done. So it firstly tells me that I have solved seven problems out of this hundred problems of rating 2000. 93 problems are still unsolved. When I go below in the status, I can see that, okay, I have a wrong answer for one of the problems. That is problem three accommodations. I'll definitely be doing it today. All the data is available. For example, I can see TA, I got a TLE for a range sorting, easy version. I'll definitely try that as well. I might be interested in the tags or what this problem is actually based on. So for example, just looking at it, I can't understand that this problem is based on which, which all concerns. I just need to choose tags from here. As soon as I choose tags, I see what all are the sub, uh, are the topics that are related to this problem. For example, for the accommodation problem that I got a wrong answer for, it's based on brute force, DP, greedy and implementation. If you are other kind of a person who doesn't want to know the tags are related to a problem so that he can get that contest feeling or he, he doesn't want a hint before solving a problem, you can just turn it off right over here. A lot of time what happens is then when you're solving a problem, you'll have some doubts and people genuinely find difficulty in discussing doubts with others because not everyone has a group with themselves who can actually contribute to, the, uh, to their growth. For, for that, you can just click over here. It would redirect to my Discord server. Let's just go to my Discord server. So yeah, here's my Discord server. It's actually pretty great. Uh, there's a lot of discussion. You can actually find almost everything over here. For example, let's say you were solving some problem, maybe this one, or let's just pick an easier problem, maybe some 900 level problem. Okay, let's say you were uh, trying to solve this problem that is Hosm and uh, Comeradorix, right? You face some difficulty, all you need to do is go to my Discord server, go to this DSCP doubt section, open up a post and post it over here. What problem you are solving and what's your doubt? Trust me, you'll get a reply pretty soon. People are actually really active. If you if you scroll down, so these are all the posts that have actually been answered. So these are under the uh, older post category and these are all the answered posts. So we have already solved like thousands and thousands of problems maybe. So yeah, you can always get help from it uh, from here. Other than that, it's a very live community, right? People are really active. Uh, we host dev, uh, dev and open source or basically development part of it. We also talk of uh, DS and CP right over here. It's pretty, oh, oh, uh, it's pretty active if I open. Okay, so yeah. So this is uh, one of the guys who actually just posted uh, that he actually wrote his name on uh, Code Forces, right? So Ketan wrote his name on Code Forces. So you can see that people over here are highly motivated and they can actually help you for your growth as well. 
so definitely try to join the server so it's really important to give credit to the right people who actually built this website it's not me who has actually built the website the idea was mine the management was mine but ultimately these are the guys who actually built this entire thing up so a huge shout out to abhi chauhan abhishek gupta badal prerak ayu singh shivam pande and himanshu himanshu endo so just talking of the specifics so these are the mods so badal uh, badal ayu singh himanshu raj and om actually helped me to process the data now since i already told you we process more than 50 55000 users right now 55000 users is a very very big data especially when when you are trying to uh, check all the submissions they have made or all the problems they have practiced in the past 16 month that becomes a very big data on top of that you have the network network latency then computation so solving it on a single pc would have actually taken a very very long time in order to avoid that what we did is i actually sharded the data right and then process the data so badal abey hikaku himanshu pirate king and om they actually process the data after processing it we were uh, we actually ran all of these scripts on different pcs and each pc actually uh, just computed the data for around 5000 users so the complexity was reduced after that we processed the data or merged the data and then came up the development front so i've not actually done the development front either front end actually was done by abey uh, abhishek and prerak So three these three guys actually contributed a front end part shivam actually managed the entire back end along with the deployment on azure using docker a huge shout out to each one of them i'll try to link the github handles of these guys in the description of the video itself these guys are amazing coders and if you really think you need some help with uh, coding these guys can actually help you out you can always interact with them on my discord server and even if you click on their profiles for example let's say you click on my profile you'll be redirected to my uh linkedin page that's pretty much it about the website i really hope this website or all of these efforts are able to help you grow in cp if you have any sorts of doubt if you need any sorts of help please feel free to reach out to me either on discord or on linkedin i'm pretty much available cool guys thanks a lot for being over here i hope this video helped and this website would contribute to your growth in cp